I bet you there will never be another comparison to this 2020 presidential erection. <laughs> Welcome back folks. Thanks for keeping it here and tuning in again. I appreciate you guys watching all these videos and commenting and thumbs them up. Do it! Do it! You guys remember this neck right here, right? This is off of the, uh, I call it a Jimi Hendrix lookalike guitar. It was like a Stratocaster body. You can do, you can search the channel for, uh, just search it for Jimi Hendrix and this guitar will come up, the videos I did on it. All right. I checked every fret on the guitar. I checked all the electronics. Everything worked perfect, man. And it was perfect. I sent it back to the owner. Owner received it. And he said he had a lot of fret buzz. A bunch of fret buzz going on. He thought it had high frets in it. And he started to tap the frets down, the ends of them. And I, I don't know if it made it worse or not, but it didn't make it any better from, from what I understand. So I told him, I said, you know, I'm good for my work, man. Send it back to me, and let me look at it, or at least to me the neck, and uh, let me check it. And I was just about to do the frets on them again. I checked them. There wasn't any high or low frets. And I found out that it's got a twist in the neck. It's a horrible thing to happen to any guitar. You never want to see this, man. This neck, it looks like if I would hold the neck just like that and twist this in that goes on the body counterclockwise or this way, and twist this in this way just like if you do this see what I mean that's that's the way it's twisted so this end here this along here is higher than this is because of the twist and this end is lower than this is or I don't know how to explain it I'm gonna to try to get you and show it to you but it is it's like you would just hold the neck like this twist this side this way and this side this way at first, I thought it was just the fretboard was twisted. You know, you know that's something too. You don't normally check for that. You know, when you get when I get a guitar in here to work on, or when anybody gets one to work on, they don't check it for a twisted neck. They check it for a straight neck. But you know, unless there's a complaint or something like there is in this case, you just don't think to check it for a twisted neck. And I don't know if the neck twisted. You know, when the guitar's way home. Because it played so well here, you can go, like I said, search those videos and play them and, you, and watch them. And you can watch me play the guitar. And I checked, I don't know if I checked every fret on camera or not. But I did check every fret, every single one of them. Because I always do that when I do a setup of this spine. And there was no buzzing. Now I know, if you have your action extremely low on an electric guitar, erectic guitar, if your action is really low, and you're playing it without an amp, just you know, by itself, you can hear quite a bit of buzzing going on with the accent as low as we tried to set this. I, I, I never asked the owner, I need to ask him if you know that buzzing that you hear acoustically, you won't hear that with the guitar plugged into an amp, you won't hear that buzz. And I'm wondering if that's what he heard, maybe, or if he heard actually had fret buzz through the amp. I can't check it because I don't have the body. I've got some bodies. I guess I could bolt this on, but I don't have the, their screws, and I don't want to go changing the screws and wallering the holes out. <laughs> this neck is made by Music Craft. That's M U S I K R A F T. Licensed by Fender USA. They have a website. If I can remember. I'll put a link down here below. They make all kinds of stuff. These are fairly expensive. They're not, you know, that bad. But I mean. When you pay what he paid for this one, you don't want one that's twisted like this. And like I say, that's not something you normally check for because you hardly ever see it. I can look down over the neck and see it big time, man. Now that I know to look for it. And I'm going to get you. Say, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And I'm going to try to make you see it. I don't know if I can make you see it or not. Boy, I can sure see it, though. It's uh, not all that bad, but for as light... As fine a setup as the owner wants on this guitar, there's no way to do it with a twist in the neck like that. Anyways, what we're going to do, I'm going to try to show you that. And the owner decided to send, he talked to the people at the Music Craft, and I guess they worked something up. 
he's going to send it. I'm going to send it to him from here. And I don't know if they're going to replace the neck, give him a new one. There's no way they're going to fix this one, I don't think. I could try, you know, putting a twist in the opposite direction and he location stuff. But he, the owner wants the wants the uh, company to see it like this, to see how we re received it. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing I'm going to do is get you and try to show it to you if I can. And then I'm going to box this thing up and put it in the mail in the morning. Send it uh, a very long trip home. Well, it's not going home. I don't know where that place is exactly. Music Craft. It's in uh, Vineland, New Jersey. Zip codes 08360 if you want to look it up. Like I say, I'll try to remember to put their, uh, a link to their website down there. If I can remember, you know how that goes. Alright, we'll get you now. Let's do it. I'll show it to you. Before I show you that, I want to check something. The, the nut is not uh, in parallel with the fretboard because you got your low action on the high E and uh, you know that the nut is higher up here because the strings are bigger than more room. What I'm going to do though is just measure across the nut you know just like so 72 thousandths right there the center 97 thousandths that's what I figured that's because of the this will probably be lower than it's 109 yeah he ought to be higher some of that's because of the radius too I don't know if I can't remember if I radius the whole nut I know I did the strings let's read it one more time see if we're anywhere close to the same 72 87 there and this one was higher than that 106 yeah well and what I was going to say is looking down over this thing like I'm going to get you and try to show you the nut kind of makes it look like it's twisted worse than it is but yeah I don't know it's pretty bad I guess it's bad enough I'll get you and try my best to show it to you hold on and I'll do my best to hold this still I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it now don't don't let the nut throw you off just we, all you want to concentrate on is the neck hopefully you can see the other end of the neck that nut makes it look like it's twisted the opposite direction of what I told you I don't know man if you're seeing it or not maybe if I hold back here I can't hold it still back here but that neck is in bad shape there maybe you can see it very hard for me to hold still the way I shake my apologies for that okay let me show you from the other end maybe you can tell more from the other end to see the twist in it yeah I think this end might be might be able to see it better don't think much about the nut disregard the nut it's glued in I'm not going to knock it out because I'm not working on it he's going to send it back to them but you see how the right Let's see the way you're looking at it. It's going to be all backwards in this camera. The left hand side, I think, of the far end of the fretboard is higher than the right hand side is. That's the twist. It's because of the twist. It's very hard to get that to show up. I don't know if you can see it in the screen or not. Maybe it would be better if I backed off of it a little bit. Yeah, I think I'm seeing it in the screen there. It's definitely in there. I don't know if you can see it from the, the sides. Looking down the side of the neck. Or not. No, it looks straight looking at it that way. If you look at it up here. Oh yeah, you can see it right away. The right side. Of the far end of the neck is lower than the left side and this end up here is just the opposite of that all right I tightened the truss rod it was loose and I remember just happened to remember you can see this twist more as you tighten the truss rod up there's a truss rod adjustment right there 
don't know what that says there. I can't see it, man. I think it's upside down. Anyways, show you one more look. I'll just tighten it up so it wouldn't come off in shipping. And if I get the camera straight here, I think you can see that neck twisted on the far end. It's pretty bad. And it gets worse as you tighten the rod up. I've got the camera as level as I can hold it with the neck. And you can see the twist. I can see it pretty plainly now with a truss rod tight. That's really a thing to me. I'm just going to pack it up and send it back in the very packing heat sent here in. Seem to survive the trip pretty well that way. This is the same packing it arrived in. I told the owner I had I had been successful in straightening twisted necks before. In fact I've several times had good success doing it. But I don't blame him for you know for wanting to see what the what the builder if they can do anything with it or what not. I don't blame him one bit for that. It's really kind of caught us both off guard. Neither one of us expected the truss rod to be or the neck to be twisted like that. Yeah, I guess I should have checked that before I even set the guitar up. You know. Maybe that's something I'll have to start doing in the future is checking them. Before I ever do a setup, check it and make sure the neck is not twisted. That's one more extra step, I guess. It's packed in there pretty good. I'm going up that way a little deeper, I guess. So how y'all been doing, man? How in the world are you? I think one big piece of tape. Probably. I didn't get it long enough. I hope everybody's doing good and having better luck with their guitars. Let me put a long piece on this the way I did that other one. Seemed to hold better. Give it a little more something to hold on to. There we go. And then, get this tape out of the way for the time being. This is the box it arrived in. We just shove him right down in there. I'm going to get something to put in there with that. It's, that fits loose. Put some packing in there or something with it. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. That's going to make all the difference in the world. Got it in there too far. Get one more little piece of there. Perfect. All i got to do now find some tape and tape that box up and she will put the stickers on it she'll be ready to roll which way we're going here a couple, couple slabs down that way I think Give you another good hint. We're, I'm sending this. Uh, oh shit, man! There's a note I have to put in there to tell them what the problem with it is. Anyways, I was going to say I'm sending it by priority mail, and uh, you stick that on there. You should always tape over your over that if you use these. When you put it on there, tape over it because you know if it gets wet, the ink can smear, sticker can come unstuck. So stick it on the box. You peel it, peel and stick, and then tape over it cover it completely. Alright, I gotta cut the box back open, put this damn note in there. I forgot all about that. Alright, with RCB, ready to go home. Got the thing on there, got it taped over good. 
I put note inside box because I just stuck it in the end over there so they'll know and a, a arrow pointing up to it telling them you know what's going on what's wrong with it hopefully they'll, they'll get the idea <laughs> anyways I see a number here on the bottom of the box that I'm gonna mark over somebody wrote it right on the tape and there's no way you can I guess I could cut the tape off and retape it there that's good now you can't read it thank you folks for watching I hope your neck never twists on you because it's a pain man <laughs> literally a pain when your neck twists uh, I only wish I would have looked at this before you know before I sent the guitar back but like I said the videos you can watch them I played every fret on that guitar it didn't buzz everything worked perfect and uh, that wasn't the only thing there's a bunch of other crap was wrong with it when it got down there so I don't know so I, kind of makes me wonder if somebody didn't take it out of the box and mess with it <laughs> in shipping you know I don't know I just hope the guy gets something done they give him a new one or I don't, I don't see him fixing this one they might take the fretboard off and replane the neck and put a new fretboard on it maybe I don't know or just replace it I don't know what they'll do but hopefully they'll do something Thank you guys for keeping it here and hanging around, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.